finding the domain and range of a graph. Now finding the domain of a graph when given a graph such as a circle is pretty easy to understand for most students. So I'm going to start there with um, how to find the domain and range. So when you want to find the domain, the domain is simply how far uh, to the left or how far to the right does this graph extend? So I have a graph of circle of a circle. So I want to know how far does this circle extend? Uh, and as we can see, this circle extends here just during this region only. So a circle starts right there, uh, which is what, negative four? And it just keeps going and it stops. So we would say that the domain, again, domain is how far does it, does it extend in both directions. It starts at negative four. And whenever it starts at a point, we use a bracket to write it in interval notation form, comma, and it goes all the way to positive four. And let's also close that with a bracket. And that is how we write the domain of this graph. Again, it goes from negative four to positive four. Now, let's look at the range. When we talk about the range, we want to know uh, what is the lowest point on that graph and what is the extreme highest point. So if we take a look at our circle, the lowest point on that circle, the circle falls as low as negative six. It doesn't go any lower than negative six. And the highest point uh, on that circle uh, is positive six. So we would say that the range, again, the range is how high or low a graph goes. The range would be starting at negative six. You always write the smaller number first. And again, we use brackets when it start and stop at a point. And it goes all the way up to six. And since it stops at six, again, we use a bracket. And this is how we write the domain and range of a graph in interval notation form. Now let's try that on other types of graph. Here we're asked to decide whether the relation defined by the graph below defines a function and give the domain and range. So first of all, I'm gonna ask you, is this a function? So recall the vertical line test that all you have to do is to uh, draw or imagine a vertical line. And if when you sketch a vertical line if it only touches in one point, then it is a graph of the function such as this one. So yes, it is a function. No matter how many times you draw or imagine a vertical line through this graph, it is only going to touch or intersect in one place. So yes, it's a function. Moving on to the domain and range domain. Recall domain is how much does this graph extend uh, to the left and to the right. Uh, so this one, you may not be able to visualize it, but you just have to know that uh, this is this is what exists with this type of graph. When you have um, a graph that is uh, any type of uh, line other than a vertical or horizontal. So again, exception, I'm not talking about a vertical or horizontal line, but any other line, I don't care if it has a negative or positive slope, the domain and range uh, is going to be the same. And, and that is because this is a line that never ends. So when we want to know how far it extends to the left or to the right, if I go to the left, I have an arrow at the end. So it's never going to stop. It's going to keep going forever and ever left. On the right, too, it has an arrow, so it's going to go forever and ever to the right. 
So the domain is going to be from negative infinity to positive infinity. And we always, always close infinities with a parenthesis, which means it never ends. Now for the range, the range is how high and how low. So again, if we look at the lowest point, it has an arrow, which means it's going to go forever down. Um, up top, it has an arrow too, which means it's going to shoot forever up. Uh, so the range as well is going to be from negative infinity to positive infinity. Again, that's any line with an exception of vertical and horizontal. But any other type of line, no matter if it's a negative or positive slope, the domain and range is going to be the same, which is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Again, why? Because it has arrows on both ends, which means that it never stops.